sick. So hard for me. I'm so awkward. <laughs> so it's good to get me out of my comfort zone. Down to like, I'm a climber. I'm not a, not a, yeah, not a. Not a I'm weird, dude. Star. I'm fucking weird, dude. Damn. <laughs> like, should I sit like this, leaning back? Is what I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let's do some quick background. So when did you start climbing? I, f I always get this question wrong. I feel like, I think it was nine or ten years ago. I was like 11 and now I'm 20, but yeah, plus or minus, something like that. So yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, and then what did you, where did you start? What was your experience starting climbing? So I'm pretty sure I didn't make this story up, but so I think we went to frozen yogurt place one day and we saw an ad for this new gym opening up for an American Ninja Warrior in our area. And I was like, oh, I wanna go check that out. So we, we checked it out. There's a place called High Exposure and uh, I like did the Ninja Warrior stuff and it was fun, but I wasn't having like a, I mean, I was having a fun time, but it was like, it wasn't climbing, you know? I tried climbing and I was hooked right away, like literally right away. I joined the team. I went to the gym, like the second, for my second time ever going to the gym, I tried out for the team and joined the team. <laughs> Sick. Okay, so do you feel like you progressed quickly then or did you feel like it was a more sort of um, linear progression just taking a long time to get between certain points or like any sort of area where it felt like more intense? I think for me, it felt pretty, it felt pretty quick up until like V6. I think I did V6 pretty quick, maybe within like, definitely under a year, definitely under a year. Mm, maybe within like half a year. I don't know. I don't want to put numbers to things because I'll probably get them wrong. But I felt like I progressed pretty quick up until like like V10. Like trying to do a V10 was like my first like plateau. And then that took a minute. And then after V10, I, I progressed pretty quick again. And then like V12 was my next plateau. And then every grade after V12 kind of was just like a little harder and harder to like break through to. Like I think it gets pretty exponential as you get up there. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool. So, I mean, as many people know you, right, you, you climb hard. You're a hard climber. Okay. And it seems like you, like, you, t you stoke on that, right? That's something that you take pride in, something that you really enjoy. Like, what about these limit things or the things that draw you to it? What about these climbs that require everything of you? It's something that, you know, pulls you back every time. Yeah, that's a good question. I feel like, I think, my, I mean, my favorite part of climbing is, like, trying to f piece things together and figure it out and figure out what works for me because a lot of the time it's different than what works for everybody else and I think that's pretty cool because like climbing is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle but every piece is different for every single person it's kind of like it's kind of like a weird way to put it but I think it makes sense like I don't know that's my favorite part about limit bouldering is just absolutely like pushing myself to the limit and seeing what I'm capable of like proving things to myself I didn't think I could prove to myself that's super rad. So yeah, yeah. the climb that, of course, you're going to at this point, you've gone to is Genghis Khan. What, um, what inspired you about that boulder? I don't know. I think the cool part about Genghis was, like, the history behind it. I'm really drawn, especially in the gunks, because this place is, like, my second home. It's, like, my favorite place in the world. You know, I would climb here for the rest of my life. But... The history of the climb, I think, is really cool to me. Like, Vadim Afeng, all those years ago, and the, the old video is, like, I remember stumbling upon that for the first time and watching it, and I was like, this is sick. A basic, like, a, basically a route climb that is a boulder. And it's really hard, like, one of the hardest in the gunks, and it's right there on the carriage road, easy access, and it looks fucking sick. <laughs>
like day one on a project for me is like, try the moves, figure them out. And then I kind of go back and try all the moves again. moves and like make them feel as easy as possible for myself which I think bites me in the butt a lot of the time but in certain scenarios it helps How do you maintain mental on climbs like Genghis Khan where it feels like there's definitely points of it where you're definitely at a you know riskier area or a fall wouldn't be the most ideal thing yeah. for you to take at that point? Another good question. Mm. I don't know, I think for me that's something new I'm dealing with now. Like I've never really thought about it too much. For me it's not necessarily that hard because I think I have that thing where I have to like perfect a move kind of comes in and helps me for change. Where it's like, once I do a move once, I have pretty good muscle memory on it and I can usually recreate it pretty well. So I don't have to think about it too much, but definitely sometimes like on those hard moves where you're like a little off the deck and a little scared and you don't want to fall and it would kind of suck injury wise if you did fall. I think just like telling yourself you can do it and absolutely 100% trying like you would be trying if you were two feet off the ground is what's important. As soon as you start like being scared and letting it get to you, that's when it gets kind of sketch. So basically from those jugs right there, right after like the, the hardest moves until I get to these slopey jugs up here, I'm pretty scared because the landing is just like straight down basically. But once I get back up to these the landing kind of fixes itself. So, although it's like tall and scary up there, I think I'll be chilling up there just because the landing is pretty good. But this part where the slopey holds, it's kind of worrisome to me, but I'll make it work. myself I can imagine myself doing it basically which I feel like is like step one to doing it I think one of my superpowers is like persistence and like just going back like putting days in and putting effort in and just having psych and being psyched I think that's kind of what works for me is just like the amount of psych I have I get I don't know that's like an interesting question because I don't know exactly what does it, but there's something that keeps the wheels like spinning every day and every night. And I always want to be out here and I always want to be trying something like no matter what. Oh, nice. That was sick. Oh, that was a good link. Hell yeah. That was. Red point crux, and then probably second red point crux. Shit. All right, there's like one little more sequence right here, which is like from the jugs, getting set up into those holes. I'd like to do that, and then I think that's that's like basically like three or four parts. Cool. Oh yeah.
That's cool. So would you say, and I, in your own words, of course, yeah. like what do you believe, but would you say that for you then, the process is the most important part of a climb, not the sand, not figuring out that the climb exists, but really just the days you spend next to the wall figuring it out. I, I would love to say so, yes, I think it is. Like, I mean, that's the age old question. Like, if someone could give you like a magic potion or like you could pay to send this boulder right now, would you? And it's like, maybe, but also like, I, like you would know it, it like wasn't it, you know? Like, you kind of want to see through the process and you kind of want to like, deal with the lows and feel the highs like because if you deal with the lows the highs will feel much higher and i don't know i feel like that's the best feeling like standing on top of a boulder you've been traveling to for three years four years five years who knows more like i don't know that would be, i haven't gotten to feel that yet but hopefully i will soon and i can't wait <laughs> I'm gonna try to take it to the top. All right. Nice. No, that's not that bad. If you can just keep it together. Kind of hard, but the slopes are good with shock and they have a lot of texture. So we're chill. We're psyched. I'm definitely psyched. Oh, yeah, that's so sick. At least personally, like, I don't like climbing just because I think that rock is pretty and I want to climb it. I like climbing because, like, I, like, I just, I like climbing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's kind of crazy to think about, but it's more fun when it's less fun in a weird way. Like, the moment where, the moment when you start to realize you can do a boulder is when it starts to get exponentially less fun because then you have to do the boulder. But in the same way, you're like, Damn, I can do this boulder, which is pretty cool.
Oh my god. 